This is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel. I've spent the morning fixing the issues I had with the amp meter and the voltmeter and uh, it's running off the inverter now guys. Um, I want to go over this a little bit and give you a look at it. I still haven't solved the high amp draw issue. Uh, I'm starting to think that the magnet spacing is a fact in it. Now I'm not sure but I think the magnet coming up on the coil might disrupt it in some way and help with the collapse because as of right now that's all that's really left so but I wanted to give you a look at it uh, I'll have this solved I'm gonna have to pull the wheel and I'm gonna try that and if that is really the case that I need the 16 magnets which gives me that sweet spot of 22.5 degrees between the magnets that John Bedini is talking about then the large wheel is going to need more magnets to get to that sweet spot so but right now let's just take a look at it we got this is coming out of the inverter uh, after the caps and ap uh, before the switch so you have uh, pulse motor amps and volts and then uh, I got an A and B bank which is actually four batteries per bank I was tired last night guys so you have to excuse me so currently that that's what the voltage is at. I figured out some of my batteries were actually cold boiled um, where the volt where the where I wasn't discharging the cart motor completely it actually boiled the acid out of the battery and instead of swelling the battery like you would normally see they were actually sucked in because they're um, sealed batteries they created a vacuum inside the battery so I'm gonna to have to get some acid and add to the batteries these batteries you know 2004 2005 they're pretty old batteries <laughs> but they're all still working they're just a little low on acid right now um, so we have an A and B bank and we have I put an automotive 50 amp meter on each bank so I can see that in real time and this is the clamp on my amp meter so I can get a digital reading from that so this is the patch panel I put this plastic in between them and so nothing would be touching and I just created a breakout panel I thought on I was going to use uh, some relay switches but I realized the way it's wired there are no large caps before the in inverter on the output on the charge on the uh, input side so that wouldn't work when I hit the relay it would cause the surgeon just cause the, re the inverter to shut off so that wasn't going to work I'd have to add an additional capacitor uh, like uh, an inver uh, capacitor off of a you know 1.2 farad capacitor like you get on a stereo or something in order for that relay system to work I've already built it and I've showed it in a video before but it's not going to work in this case so I just left it with the patch panel so two uh, breakers and then I just used a piece of copper from a piece of old water pipe and cut it out and flattened it and um, that made the connection so we only have the three wires into the motor everything else is uh, ran it's a little hard to see down in there but uh, it's basically just like the cart motor was so there isn't a lot of difference there the only other difference is I'm using these uh, batteries from RC cars to power the meters so that I don't have to uh, 
change out the batteries that much. You see down here, I, I had to reinforce the cart. The cart wheel actually was bent up in touching the bottom of the cart from the weight of the batteries. So I had to reinforce all that before I started putting this thing back together. And that's when I discovered the batteries were uh, sucked in. So in case you guys want to see, this is what I'm talking about here. You can see that right there. That is sucked in. Um, I haven't vented this battery, so it's still collapsed a little bit. And now some of them was even more prominent than that. And that's what happens when you cold boil your batteries on a Bedini pulse charge. <laughs> it actually uh, instead of creating excess pressure in the battery it's actually don't ask me where the acid went the battery sealed nothing can escape but the levels in the batteries were low I had taken the acid out of one of these batteries actually two to run some experiments with uh, Alm and some other things so I had that acid so I added it to a couple of the batteries brought them right back up they actually jumped in voltage when I put the acid in and the two batteries that I emptied which was a large battery and a small battery it used all that acid to fill to top off two of these batteries so not sure what to make of that other than you want to put on your inverter you want to make sure you're able to discharge the batteries down to 11 volts or so when you're running the experiments because when you're charging them continually and you're not consuming that energy uh, that's a recipe to boil the batteries out so that's kinda what happened to me so just so you know and what I did on the problem, I'm, the issue I'm having with the high amps, uh, I tried some keys. I used the keys from the cart motor, the ones I know would work, and they were actually lower resistance, which didn't really make a lot of sense. I, and it panned out that, yeah, when I dropped the resistance, it increased the amperage, not decreased the amperage, but I had to test it anyway. And one of the coils, which had uh, these plates, were they weren't uh, one of them was starting to come out, so I had to put super glue on it. That's what I did to the ones on the the small box motor, and that worked just fine. So I might have to check them all, but basically at this point, I believe the issue that I'm having is the spacing on the magnets so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some of the coils off the side take the axle out and put the 18 magnets back on the wheel rebalance the wheel put it back together and that should resolve the issue if that was a problem then the big wheel is not the spacing on the magnets is incorrect so I'll know that in a day or two, guys. Um, I did have one other problem that is not really a big problem. But if you look right here, this is, it's real hard to see, but it is just slightly askew. The front of the wheel is slightly lower than the back, and I mean slightly, it's just barely noticeable. Um, which caused the, the, the magnets at the bottom and the wheel at the top to be tilted slightly so it's not running straight down the center of the coils now on the cart motor because it was so wobbly anyway it, it did that so I don't think that's the issue but it's a good opportunity to fix that slight skew and uh, it's going to take me a little bit to rework this, guys. I was hoping to get on the generator. I've got a bunch of parts made for the generator. I could probably have the generator together in a couple days of solid work. 
but the motor's got to be right first so that's kind of where I'm at and everything else is good I, I'm not really having an issue with any of the components and the operation just just drawing too much amps so the spacing is not 22.5 and I'm thinking that's really what the problem is so for now this is Technomancer for zero point fuel signing out